Major William Bill White entered the world as Billy Cedarberg on July 31, 1915 in Long Beach, California. He was the older of two boys born to Swan and Mary Cedarberg. He grew up in Long Beach with days spent on the beaches as well as his grandparents' farm in Reedley in the Central Valley. Young Billy was quite a handful as a child, resulting in him being sent to a Christian Science Military High School, where he thrived. After his mother's second marriage to Leonard White, Bill changed his name to William C. White. Both Bill and his brother Bob joined the Marines. Bill was rejected the first time he applied, so he went to work on the Hoover Dam. Bob became a flight instructor and was later killed in a training accident. After his second and successful Marine application, Bill was sent to boot camp in San Diego in 1934, followed by sea school in 1935. He was stationed in Pearl Harbor in 1936 through 37. His next post in 1937 was in Shanghai, China, 4th Marine Regiment, followed by recruiting duty in Los Angeles. When World War II started in 1942, he was assigned to parachute school and transferred to the 4th Parachute Battalion. The paratroopers were recalled from the Pacific in 1943 and formed the basis of the 28th Marine Regiment, part of the 5th Marine Division. Bill went to Parker Ranch in Hawaii for training and prepping for the invasion of Iwo Jima after many days at sea. His ship arrived at Iwo Jima on February 19th 1945, but he was not part of the initial assault. He joined the battle after the first flag was raised, landing on the beach directly under Mount Suribachi. As they were crossing to join the rest of the battalion, the second flag was raised. White was seriously wounded and returned to the United States to recover. After recovery, he was assigned to Camp Pendleton where he facilitated with the discharge of 400,000 Marines after the war ended. He married Myra Macklin in 1947. Bill's post-war years were spent in Hawaii in 1950 at the Marine Headquarters in Washington, D.C. He was commissioned a second lieutenant in 1952. Bill's life as a family man expanded with the birth of his daughters, Mary in 1956 and Alice in 1958. His military travels continued, Korea, San Francisco, and promoted to captain, Southern California at the El Toro Marine Air Station, Okinawa, where he served briefly before returning home to be with his dying wife, Myra. He married his third wife, Jeanette, a marriage that lasted 40 years. He was promoted to major in 1963 and retired from the Marine Corps in June 1964. Bill joined the Huntington Beach Police Department as a reserve officer in the late 1960s, joining the full-time force a few years later. 
For 30 years, Bill volunteered to lead a local Boy Scouts of America Explorer Post, sponsored by the police department. His years as a family man saw travels around the country, several trips to Iwo Jima reunions, and lots of time fishing and enjoying his children, Mary of Stockton and Alice of Sacramento. He outlived three wives, the last two dying of cancer. Major White lived his last years in a senior facility, continuing being active, finding him either competing with other residents in bingo and table games, or joining in sing-alongs. He was also an active member of the Stockton Marine Corps Club, participating in activities from Veterans Day events to serving as Grand Marshal of the Stockton Fourth of July Parade. In 2020, Major White gained international fame when a fellow resident at his retirement home posted requests on the internet for Valentine's cards for the then 104-year-old Marie. The story went viral as Operation Valentine, resulting in 400,000 cards and gifts pouring in. White appeared in all the local and regional news outlets as well as national and global news. The cards joined a lifetime of memories in Bill's scrapbooks, stating that they would be part of his personal history. Family was central to Bill's life. In addition to his daughters, Mary and Alice, he has one granddaughter, Leah, and four great-granddaughters, Abigail, Nicole, Eloise, and Aurora. Two things have always remained constant in Bill's life, his love of country and the Marines, and his family. Major White's personal awards include the following. He was one of the last of a generation of men who were larger than life, fighting battles that would be remembered for all time. <laughs>